While playing Fortnite in the new Chapter 5 Season 1, you may have experienced a game crash like this one or even an out of memory message. So I thought I'd make a quick video explaining how to fix them. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more content. Let's dive into the video. Click in Library. Click on the free horizontal dots. Click on Manage. Make sure that your GM files are all verified. Via Click and Be Verified button. It shouldn't take too long. And all it does it pretty quick. And this will make sure you got the latest up to date files and the all verified and all good to go. And once you verify your gym file, if you go back into the options, then click on manage. Inside here, under the launch options, they recommend adding an additional command, which is dash D3D11. And what this will do is, it will put your game into DirectX 11. Go to my website and download the fix error files. I give link in description and follow me how to fix your error. Install all Visual C++ files to resolve Fortnite crash report errors and ensure smoother gameplay. Install DirectX 12 to troubleshoot Fortnite crash reports and improve overall game stability and performance. Install DirectX 11 to resolve Fortnite crash reports and ensure smoother gameplay experience while running Fortnite. Install Rundy Map Pack X86x64 to troubleshoot and resolve Fortnite crash reports, ensuring smooth and uninterrupted Fortnite gameplay. Another thing they recommend doing is opening up the Epic Games Launcher, heading over to Library. Then where you see Fortnite, click in on B Free Horizontal Dots. Then click in on Manage, and under V Installation. If you click on B, open Install Location inside the Fortnite Game Folder. Then under Binaries, then Win64. If you scroll down to find the client itself, that's the Fortnite client Win64 ship and EXE and right click on it and click on the Properties 1. Inside the Compatibility tab, you can try selecting the Compatibility Mode. Click Run this program, in Compatibility Mode for Windows 8. And then in addition to that, they recommend that you tick, the Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Then click Apply and OK. Go into the search bar and type in Background. Apps like so. And then select that one. And then inside here, you can see that Windows actually lets apps run, in the background by default. And a lot of these apps right here that, are enabled by default can interfere with your game and be responsible for Wars Game Crashers. You can see a lot of these are actually useless, and the door need to be turned on in the background. So what we're gonna do is either manually check any that you really don't want running in the background, or you think might be responsible for the game crashes, or what you can do, which most people will do, is just go ahead and turn absolutely all of them off. If you want any of them open, you just open them, you don't need them running in the background while you play the game. A bonus thing you can do is to go into the library. Click on the three horizontal dots. Go on to manage. Then under where it says installation. If you click on this little install folder, it'll take you here where you want to select Fortnite game. You then want to go into binaries. Then win64. Then you want to go ahead and open up the easy anti-cheat. It's setup.exe. If it doesn't open initially, you can try running it as administrator. And if that still doesn't open, you can buck out and go underneath it this one right here and then you should just be able to open this one like normal and as you can see it's fully worked now what you want to do here is try to repair the service and that could potentially fix your game crashes and other issues you can see it doesn't take long at all once it's installed successfully click finish restart your pc relaunch the game and share in the comments if it resolves the issue for you don't forget to subscribe and like the video